we're starting with some Graham's biscuits today. Just gonna take one more using my kitchen scissors. You just cut it into force. Super easy, just like that. And this is all going into my spring form pan. Let's take a little bit of olive oil. We're just gonna do a very light drizzle because we are going to mix some things into this and this is going to prevent it from sticking so it doesn't mess up your cute little balls. Then we're gonna take some salami. Mm -mm -mm. And we are also gonna cut these up. You could just use your fingers for this. This doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a bunch of little pieces in there because this is gonna all mix into those biscuits and just be super yummy. But we're not gonna do any mixing yet. We just wanna kind of throw all our toppings into here and then we'll mix it all with the biscuits. But as you guys know, I love to show you guys the easy ways to cook. So we're gonna do everything into this one pan just like so. Oh my, this is gonna be so delicious. This salami make, smells amazing. We're doing it fancy today in the easiest, most delicious way. Your guests, your family, friends, anyone you make this for, they are going to love this showstopper recipe. And I guarantee you probably have not seen this before. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this up. Oh, so good. Okay, beautiful. Next, we're gonna take some sliced olives. And I know some of you don't like olives, as you've said in a couple of my past recipes, so you can skip this. You could do like sun-dried tomatoes or anything else that you think would pair good with this. But I love me some olives. Then we're gonna take some fresh basil. Now you could use chopped basil if you want, but I want this to look nice and beautiful, so I'm gonna use like the entire leaves. So what we're making today is a charcuterie pull apart bread. So delicious, oh my gosh. And it's really easy to make. Like those words sound like it would be quite difficult, but I promise you this is super easy. And we're doing this in an easy, even easier way than the original recipe says. So we're almost done. Let's just get a little bit more of that basil. Oof, it smells so good. Yeah. There we go. All right. We're almost ready to start mixing, but first let's go ahead and add some shredded mozzarella. This is the best part of this recipe is the cheese. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna make our mixture that is going to bind all of this together. So I'm gonna use my measuring cup, going back to our olive oil. Now this time you wanna really go for it. So I am going to one fourth of a cup, as you can see, almost to that line. Okay, great. And then we're gonna use some garlic paste. I'm gonna do about one tablespoon you can use minced garlic or fresh garlic if you'd like. And then for some grated Parmesan. Yep, this is gonna go right into that mixture. Whew, great, I'm so excited, we're almost done. Now for some seasonings, we're gonna add some parsley. And you wanna be really generous with your seasonings because that is what's going to make this taste so delicious. And finally, we're gonna do some black pepper. Again, be generous with it. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're just going to give this a nice good mix. See how it's kind of thickening up in there? That's exactly what you want because you don't want your biscuits to get watery. But we are making this so it kind of binds it all together and it really flavors it up. Okay, now, we're just gonna dump that 
all into there, every last bit. And using my clean hands, clean fingernails, I'm gonna give this a nice, good mix with those biscuits. Because this is a pull apart bread. This isn't something that's layered. So you really want those biscuits to just be binded together with all of our delicious ingredients here. Ooh, this is me so, so good. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to see what it looks like inside when you pull it apart, the way the salami and the olives are just gonna be like embedded in the bread. It's gonna be so beautiful, so delicious. Look how easily that's mixing together. The, this is why we added the olive oil in the beginning because this it makes it much easier for this part. Like the biscuits aren't stuck together. They're just all their own individual shapes. So great. Okay, almost done. This is looking so great. All right. Okay, and then once you have it nice and mixed, we want to kind of just gently press it in the bottom and the sides. Make sure that the biscuits are all completely stuck together, um, but they are going to puff up in the oven, so it's okay if it's not perfect. You just want to make sure that it's going to have that nice shape whenever we open up the springform pan, which is always my favorite part. I love just popping that guy open. Okay, we are just about done here. Before we pop this in, I'm just gonna top this off with some more Parmesan cheese, but this time it's grated. I love when things are topped off with Parmesan cheese. I feel like it just gives it such a beautiful look. It's so nice and just a little extra flavor because who doesn't love tons of flavor in their food? I mean, come on. This is such few ingredients, but it really looks like it's so much more to this. It's so fancy and yummy. Okay, this guy is good to go in the oven, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Ooh, this smells so amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness. Now, just a heads up, if you're going to make this, you do wanna put a pan underneath your spring form because the olive oil was starting to kind of seep underneath. So, if you wanna keep your oven clean, definitely do that. But let's go ahead, Ooh, check this out. This is the best part about spring form. It's just this fun little popping. Ooh, all right, here we go. Ooh, oh my gosh. And I did not mention this earlier, but you do want to make sure you spray your pan. But oh my goodness, that looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not going to do what I usually do by putting this on a plate because this is a pool apart. So, Justine, are you ready to try this? So ready. Oh my, I am so excited to try this. <gasps> the biscuit is perfectly cooked. Okay, I need to get some of that salami too, though. That's the best part. Yum, yum. Okay. Mm. That is so good, you guys. Yay! <laughs> it looks so amazing. 